Okay guys, so Ryzen testing is definitely well underway. Um, in fact, I've actually finished all of my testing and I am just doing write-ups and edits for my review. But this thing, I have to do this separately. So this is me doing a bunch of screen capture test. Um, I'm listening to it right now. And yeah, in fact, I'm gonna crank this volume up just a little bit more so I can really hear what's going on. So I, AMD talked about how Ryzen was going to be great for streamers and content creators. So I want to test this out. So what I did, I would run a stream and record at the same time. 1080p, 30 frames per second. And this is, this is what we got side by side. So you can see here with my 8350, we are struggling a lot to get through all these captures. Um, Rise of the Tomb Raider is really well optimized for, for um, some of the other stuff. We're going to run some problems with Ryzen. I'll tell you about it a little bit more in a second. Very well optimized. This long forever black screen, this happened every time on my 8350 and my 7700K. Just whenever I was running OBS. Without OBS, go right to the next test. Look at all these stutters. Watch this as we're trying to get through these trees. This one was maybe not as bad as I was expecting. So, I mean, an 8350 is, it's okay for capture. Not too bad, but you know, we're, we're still testing. All right, so there we go. Now, the next test is the 7700K. Listen to this audio. When this thing pops up, just I'm gonna I'm gonna quit talking, and I'm just gonna let this audio, this mountain audio, I want you to hear this. You hear that? Sounds terrible, doesn't it? We got some, some stutters there. Now, remember, my 8350 and this, the benchmark went flawless. Now, hear that weird echo and stuff? Like everything's in a tin can? That's just, that's just this i7. This is what the i7 is doing capturing, all these stutters that we're getting. This is the i7 struggling to stream and record at the same time because this benchmark ran flawlessly. Like, you know, Rise of Tomb Raider was a little bit trouble at release. Yeah, you know, I kept my kept my frame rates there. So you can see this isn't this isn't the game. Me and my friend Mario at work, we were able to test this over gigabit fiber. Well, we actually are only about 300, 250 meg. But we got 250 meg up and download connection. So internet is not causing this problem. Not at all. And so what was happening on my video capture was happening on the stream, even though what was happening on my computer was flawless. That was really interesting. Look at that, that stuttering there, that was all just the stream. That was all just the capture. Actual, actual chip was doing fine on the gameplay. And you can see my frame rates are really good. So, all right, we're getting, we're getting really close now to my Ryzen captures. This is where things are gonna get super interesting. Look at that. 146 average. All right, listen to the audio here. Remember that last part. Wait till you see. Hearing that audio? See how good that sounds? This is the Rise of 7. Look at how smooth this capture is going and how clear it is. 
Now we still have a little bit of granulation going on. And we're going to hit a couple stutters here. These stutters were actually happening in the benchmark. What I found out is rise of the tumor, if I'd known this ahead of time, I would have used ASX because ASX ran perfectly. But you're gonna, we're going to hit a couple of little spots like by this waterfall. These were all actually happening in game this time. So otherwise the stream was flawless. And just hear that sound. Also, no delay. Look at how it just went straight through. This section on the I-7. Stutter, 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 stutter. Look at this. Ryzen handling it like a dream. Handling it like a dream. Look at that. So like I said, a little bit of graininess still. That could be just some OBS settings, but I mainly just, but I didn't want to change around too many settings. I might play around a little bit more and do a follow-up video just to show how to optimize the stream. All right. I think I'm done. I'm not done. Got one more test. So as you can see, we got really good frames per second too. 1080p, 60 frames per second. I wanted to see if Ryzen could handle it. This is just the 1700, the $300. And I did overclock the crap out of it, but it wasn't hard to do. Watch this. Look at how smooth that movement is. Just flawless on a AAA title like this. Just right now, I think maybe some of the granulation was a little bit worse in this particular case. Like I'm, I'm having a hard time telling for sure. I'm gonna upload this at 1080p 60 frames and I'll let some of you make those decisions. But look at how smooth that is. Look at how much better the audio quality is. I wanted to test this out because Ryzen had said, yo, we've got this thing that's going to be great for you streamers. And I think this proves it. This stutter that's happening here, this stutter was in the benchmark itself. This wasn't Ryzen's. This, this, is, this was happening. Tomb Raider needs some optimization with Ryzen. Ryzen yeah, I get, every time I did this OBS capture, as soon as I ended, ended the capture, the game crashed. So, you know, there's, there's something going on with this game and, and Ryzen. Um, if you're going to stream this game, you might wait until a patch comes out because this game does not do well on Ryzen itself. But the capture, there is not one stutter in this capture that wasn't in the actual benchmark. Everything else, I mean, look at how smooth 60 frames is. And I think if I optimize some settings, this, guys, this is a huge, huge, huge win for AMD.